Yeah, well, it's Monday, or the show is supposed to be for Monday. Hardy, like on Wednesday or something, a long time ago, I did the show for Monday, but I had this stain down the front of my shirt, and it really looked cruddy. That was before my new haircut, too. I actually prefer to have no hair. Anywhere in between is a bunch of silver hair, which is dodgy. And then what happened uh, Monday? Well, the big factor is that Kokoma Harp thing. It kind of lets you have a little escape route because I don't know about the Kokoma Harp. It's something I haven't really learned about anything about. It's basic thing that methane could be a big problem. Well, it is. Like, methane is. Like, from Paul Beckwith, it's kind of. He's a professor at. Carlton, right? That, that, that stuff is more believable. It's stuff I don't know what the heck you say. Probably there's time to balance carbon after. Like, what do you get? Let's say we planted the devs because we got like $400 million together on the internet and we've got a whole bunch of solar panels because they're like three cents of kilowatt, so $300 a megawatt. So we had something like that, and we used it to design water and send it inland. But we also sent in some salt water inland. There should be two pipes. And this is what happened to my story. The uh, Green Army 2.0 is sent to like salt and fresh water. But I'm where I'm, I'm getting kind of off topic here. Oh, his old thing. Dar, dar, dar. I think there's already some evidence that he's wrong. Here's hoping. Because that was made in 2013. And it's 2017. Actually, this year was probably a bit better than numbers than last year. So 2018, big year, we'll see what it happens with that. Hey, that was quite a day. There was, I was, let's see, this morning I saw the PETA, and I did some sounds that really impressed me. Yeah, there was this lady called Tatiana. She came in. She's a Russian lady, and she came in to give me a shower, and she plugged in the power wrong, so I lost power there, but now I've got power again. All this light is kind of a thing, but whatever. Yeah, I mean... At least I'll probably hit 3,000 views by the end of this weekend. I'm at 28 now, 27.90. So it's not too far away. And then when I'm a third of the way to do the to 10, I mean... Really, I'm going to get some discussion going on YouTube, like, without discussion. It's kind of one-sided event.
So what are the topics of discussion? Well, um, do you think that guy's crazy? That does matter. He's probably crazy, I hope. But, uh, the truth is that we're in danger of messing up. Like, we killed the coral by greenhouse back then. We might be doing about to do more damage. So it's time to get PPM down to. Well, how does that work again? Let's see. So it goes up by about four a year, three a year. And we're trying to get that down to about zero a year. That's the goal. And in the future, we go into negative numbers a bit, but that's another story. I found this article. Hang on, I'm just trying to get it forward. Oh, yeah. Conspiracy theories abound as U.S. military clubs harp. The harp is in Kekoma, Alaska. Oh, I felt it wrong. The U.S. Air Force has notified Congress that it intends to shut down harp. A controversial Alaskan-based research facility the studies in energetic and active region of the upper atmosphere. Conspiracy theories are a buzz about the news given that harp short for high frequency active Aurora Research Program has long been the center of wild speculations that the program is designed to control the weather or worse in 2010 Venezuelan leader Hugh Chavez claimed that HARP or a program like it triggered the Haiti earthquake. For the record, the Haitian quake of 2010 was caused by the slippage of a previously on unmapped fault along the border of the Caribbean and North America. North America Tectonic plates. HARP is a research program designed by and to analyze the ionosphere, a portion of the upper atmosphere that stretches from about 53 miles. above the surface of the Earth to 370 kilometers up. The program has been funded by the Air Force, the Navy, the University of Alaska, and the Defense Advanced Research Program Agency, or DARPA.